last five games for LeBron James, at least 35 in all of them. In fact, he's had at least 30 in eight of their nine games. His playoff low this postseason is 25. And tonight, a 38-point, nine-rebound, seven-assist performance in that 117-104 win over the Boston Celtics. Uh, Avery Bradley was talking to reporters after. They came out with a defensive mindset and intensity ran through the first half. They did. I feel like they came out playing harder than, than us. Um, I just said it. Marcus Smart brought the energy for us, and um, it's just a little too late. I mean, how we played in the second half and, and some stretches, we have to play like that throughout the whole game. What do you learn from a game like this? I mean, a lot. We, we uh, go back to the drawing board, watch film, figure out what we need to do, how we need to guard those guys in pick and roll. They've written a, a lot of pick and roll tonight, especially LeBron. So we just need to figure out how we need to guard it. What did you think of the way Jalen Brown played tonight? He played very good. Um, not only him, but Gerald Green. Um, I always say that's part of being a professional. You never know when your name's going to be called. And those guys came in, and they played great minutes for us. And um, you know, we had, we need other guys to step up as well, just like those guys did tonight. Hey, what a difficulties with Tristan Thompson on the offensive glass. Yeah, I mean, I think he had 20 and nine or something like that. Uh, I mean, that's that's what he brings to that team. And in the playoffs, you're supposed to try to take take away, you know, what guys do. That's what they're doing to us. And that's what we need to do to him. We need to put a body on him and um, team rebound. You have to do a better job at it. One more thing about Jalen. Only a rookie, but the moment doesn't seem too big. Yeah, this league's been off of confidence, and Brad has confidence in him, and we do. And you can tell when he's in the game, he's just playing, playing basketball. 117-104 is the final. The, the thing he pointed out there, Baron, he said, we got to figure out what we're going to do with the pick and roll, especially with LeBron. Where would you start? I, I think that you have to stop LeBron's dribble. You can't give him a full head of steam. When LeBron is coming off the pick and roll, you got to show, you got to hedge, you got to force him to not be the playmaker. Let them make the hockey assist, but you got to keep LeBron James out the paint because he killed you tonight. Are you okay, What Shaq? are you doing, Shaq? He over there cooking like a brownie. He's it, got, it was 92 <laughs> degrees. He's got that little, that little miniature yes. fan going right there. It was 92 the, degrees here in Boston. Like, like a, a Shaq O'Neal tie fan. Oh, 1999. Oh, that's so much. How much they going Shackle, for? 1999. 1999. Actually, you know what? Shipping Four, the handling. Actually, you know what? $495. We're shipping oh, the handling. Yes, oh, yes. What's your last name? $495. What's your last name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? What I, I would like to say also, is you, you, Ernie, I, that was a great question in terms of who you, what do you take away? And I think LeBron James, obviously he's the best player in the world, but he's even better when you let him get into a basketball dribble rhythm. So I call that, you know, I get into my rhythm. Ah, ah, and I'm dribbling and I'm getting into my shot. So when you run guys at him, at least he doesn't get into that. And I, I, I really feel that you have to take your chances with Kyrie Irving on the one-on-one -on -one beating you only because when he gets to the lane, he can't draw fouls as easily as LeBron does. LeBron draws fouls, he gets you in foul trouble, and he has and ones. Kyrie scores. But he doesn't do the other two things all the time, and it doesn't put you at a, 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 a at such a disadvantage yeah. you know, getting to the rim. You know, when it comes to LeBron James, you have to pick your poison. I picked you have it. To say, you have to say, you know what? We're not doubling. We're not switching. Oh, We're going to guard I'm you. Doubling. Let you get 40, 50. No, now, now, now. What LeBron loves to do, he loves when he penetrates and you double because that's, you know, a lot of people try to compare LeBron to Mike, but he's more like Magic. Yep. LeBron loves to get people involved ever since 18 years old. So, you know, when you talk about taking stuff away, you don't want these other guys to get involved. So, I, me, I would say, LeBron, you got to score 40. Kyrie, you're not doing yeah. nothing. Yeah. Tristan Thompson, you're not getting 20. Kyle Corver, you're not hitting no threes. That's Kevin the gamble that I would take. Kevin Love yeah. I'm not leaving Kevin Love. Love. He got, he, he, Kevin Love get 32. Because LeBron is in the lane. Right. LeBron the lane. starts in with 20, 20 points yes, in, in the, the paint. In the pick lane. your poison. I need LeBron shooting jumpers. I need LeBron passing the ball on the perimeter. I, I'm, I'm, le I'm not leaving, Tristan. I'm not leaving. Um, only one I'm not leaving is um, Corver. Yeah. I'm not leaving Corver or Lover. The other guys, J.R. Smith and those guys, they hit tough shots, Shumford. They hit threes, but not at the proficiency that those two guys do it.